Hi guys, in this video I explain what merge sort is. Merge sort is a sorting algorithm that uses a divide and conquer technique. It first divides an array into subarrays, all the way until each subarray has just a single element. It then merges the left and right subarrays into a single sorted array. Merge sort is a very efficient sorting algorithm with a time complexity of O n log n. Let's go over an example and see how this works. Here I have an unsorted array of 10 integer elements. Merge sort will continuously break this down into subarrays. At the first step, merge sort will break it down into a left subarray of five integers and a right subarray of five integers. Each of these subarrays will then also be broken down into a left subarray and a right subarray. This process continues until there are only arrays left with single elements. You can see this at the bottom. Each of these subarrays only has a single element. At this point, the division phase is complete and merge sort will start the merge phase. It will merge it back the way it was broken down, but during the merge phase, it will sort the elements of the two subarrays. Let's see how this works. So looking at the left, I have a subarray of four and a subarray of seven. Each of these subarrays can be considered sorted. So we basically iterate over the subarrays and compare each element to the element in the other subarray. So here I compare 4 to 7. 4 is smaller, so 4 gets added to the sorted array. Then there are no more elements in this array, so the remaining elements of the other arrays are pushed into this array. In this case, there's just one remaining element, which is 7, so 7 gets added to this array. Over here, I also have two subarrays with just a single element. Merge sort compares nine to five. Five is smaller, so we'll take five first, then it will add nine. Then it compares over here the two subarrays, one and three. One is smaller, so it takes one first, then it will take three. And over here, it compares six to eight. Six is smaller, so we'll take six first and then eight. Now again, it merges these subarrays. So over here, it compares the subarray of two to the subarray of five and nine. It compares two to five, two is smaller, so we'll take two first. There are no more elements in the left subarray, so it will take the remaining elements of the right subarray, which are five and nine. Over here, it compares 10 to six, six is smaller, so it will take six. Then it compares 10 to eight, eight is smaller, and then there's only 10 left. Now again, it merges these arrays. So it compares the left subarray of four and seven to the subarray of two, five, and nine. It compares the elements four to two. Two is smaller, so it will add two. Then it compares four to five. Four is smaller, so it will take four. Now it compares seven to five. Five is smaller. Then seven to nine. Seven is smaller, and then there's only nine left. Now, if I back up and we take a look at the right side, on the right side, it has a subarray of 1 and 3 and a subarray of 6, 8, and 10. It compares 1 to 6, 1 is smaller. Then it compares 3 to 6, 3 is smaller. And now there are no more elements on the left subarray left, so it will simply add the remaining elements of the right subarray. Now, the final step is merging these two subarrays into a single sorted array. Again, it compares the first element on the left subarray to the first element of the right subarray. One is smaller, so one gets added. Then it compares two to three, two is smaller. Then compares four to three, three is smaller. Then it compares four to six, four is smaller. It compares five to six, five is smaller. Now it compares seven to six, six is smaller. Seven to eight, seven is smaller. Nine to eight, eight is smaller. 9 to 10, 9 is smaller, and finally it adds 10. Now the final array up here is completely sorted. So to recap, merge sort uses a divide and conquer algorithm. It is a stable sort. That means equal elements in the original array will preserve their order to each other. Now for integers, that doesn't really matter much, but if you have objects, that can make a difference. And finally, the runtime complexity of merge sort is O n log n. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.